Greetings and salutations, I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 25 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, it's Monday. Appreciate you tuning in for today's show. If you caught last Friday's episode, I was showing you how to multi-place with mini bridge inside of Adobe InDesign. Today we're talking Lightroom 3. I've got some quick tips for creating smart collections. Let's bring up the screen and take a look at Lightroom. You can see on the screen in front of you that I have the library module open and over to the left is the collections panel. Now, if you're familiar with collections, you know you can manually assign different images, even from different folders, into a collection group. But what I want to talk about is creating a smart collection. A smart collection works by setting criteria or responding to the criteria that you set and it auto-populates inside the smart collections list. So let's take a look at how we create the smart collection. What I'm going to do here is click on the plus symbol next to the collections panel. I'm going to choose create a smart collection. And when this item comes up, I'm going to name it. So I'll just call this one PSDs. And I'm going to put it inside the smart collection set. So it's part of that overall group. And then I'm going to specify the criteria that I want for this item to actually work. So I'm going to look for a file type that is the Photoshop PSD. So what I've done here is I've created a collection criteria and any file that is a PSD will automatically go into this group. As I create more PSDs, when I'm working inside of Photoshop and Lightroom, they will automatically go into this group. So let me go ahead and click create. And you can see that right away I get six PSD files. So you can use smart collections to grab your best of series for a year. You could create a smart collection that identifies by time of year or a particular venue that you like or a specific person's name. Any criteria that you set, once the smart collection is created, it will auto populate. So let me show you. I'm going to create another smart collection. And this one I'm going to say is uh, we'll do best of Dallas and I'll put it in smart collections and I'm going to say that it's got to be five stars. So we'll look for rating and it's got to have a five star rating. But then here's the key thing. It also has to have a keyword that contains Dallas. So I might have a lot of five star photos, but I don't know how many five star photos I actually have that have a keyword of Dallas. So I'll go ahead and hit create and you can see that this actually is blank. If I go to my folders list and I'll go ahead and just click here, I do have this image which is a five star photo, but it doesn't have the keyword. If I go ahead and enter that keyword and I'll go and grab a different folder and this one here, I'll put the keyword. So that's two files that have five stars I added the keyword to. Let's take a look in the collections panel. And Best of Dallas now has two images. So that's creating smart collections. Right, get those collections out there that will auto-populate and work for you inside of Lightroom's library module. My name is AJ Wood. As always, if you want to keep up with what's going on here on the YouTube channel, if you want to make suggestions for a video that you want to see, make sure you catch me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. You can also catch me on my blog, ajwood.com, or leave comments here on the YouTube channel. You guys have an excellent afternoon, and I'll see you on Wednesday.